Mics are hot. Hot mic. <laughs> we are hot. Are li- we Father. are. Uh, <laughs> we are live with Tadore, World in Chaos. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for another episode where we play a game of Dungeons and Dragons for your amusement and fun and y'all chat and watch and it's fucking cool and I'll never get over how cool it is to have you all here. So, Word. just to let you know something else I'm excited about. I'm excited that we're sponsored by SoNerdware.com. It's what the nerds wear. Yeah. Make sure to go to SoNerdware.com. Use the discount code SOULBEAR. Get yourself 10% off some of this hot nerd (laughs) gear. Do it right now. Right right this second. Hit the little plus tab thing. Go to SoNerdware.com right there. Find some really dope-ass gear. Put in that 10% code SOULBEAR. You heard it here, folks. Do it. Do it. Your, your dungeon master has spoken. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, you can get the shirt I'm wearing right now. You can. You can be part of the essence of chaos. You absolutely can. So, with that... Yeah, it's comfy, yeah. <laughs> with that, let's uh, hit our episode recap. Uh, last session, uh, you guys were re- recovering after dealing with the white dragon Ithenfil. Uh, you guys took some time to go through the Dragon's Horde, where you found some pretty cool shit. And also had a gigantic flame elemental rift open up over the icy patch where you had just battled, which let out two Baylors, which had crawled through. Uh, you guys did manage to avoid detection, which was really, really good for you. <laughs> um, but... You guys were all, uh, Siegfried actually was able to determine that the rift was becoming unstable. And, uh, you guys had about one and a half minutes to get the fuck out of there before it exploded. And when it did, it went off like a nuclear bomb. Uh, you guys managed to get out of the blast radius for the most part. Uh, A couple of you tumbled ass over tea kettle. But, in the grand, grand scheme of things, that could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. Um... From there, you guys kind of made your plan uh, to go after the Black Dragon's lair and see, you know, if if it wasn't going to take too much time out of your way to kind of stop there on the White Um you determine uh, with, with Reina's knowledge of dragons and uh, kind of their nesting habits, for lack of a better phrasing, uh, determined there was one of two places that the Dragon's lair may be. And as you guys made your way towards Kaimal, or rather in that direction you guys had made your way to uh, 
the Formir waterway, which you had found to be dried up. Um, you guys traveled there for about two days, and the second day, before you were taking your long rest, uh, getting prepared, uh, noticing you'd been followed by something, but not quite sure what it was, found yourselves surrounded by uh, shadowy creatures that Siegfried was able to determine were evil in nature. He, he kind of remembered bits and pieces about them, but had never seen one of these before in person. And uh, Mitz was up in a tree. The other f uh, six of you, including Abigail, were oh, in the yeah. dead center. And five of these creatures surrounded you, one of them lifting its finger, pointing. And that is where we pick up. Mm. I had a surprise attack, right? If that's what you want to do. Yeah, do that's that, super dude. what I want to do. What are you fucking doing? Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, well, it's technically not a surprise attack because they were following you. They knew that you were there. But you can. I'll let you get off a uh, first attack. It just won't be with advantage. Okay. Uh, so that is a 26 to hit. That will hit. And I'm going to spend a key point and use... Uh, what, where did it go? Oh, yeah. Burning Hands. Okay. Um, so, Burning Hands, that's a dex save, correct? Oh, yeah. Sorry. And so, with that, they have surrounded your party. How are how are you doing this? Are you aiming it to try to hit as many of these things as you can? or? Yeah. I didn't want to hit anyone in the party. I just wanted to hit the creatures. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me see how this would work best for you. Because I, I think, honestly, if you want to avoid hitting anybody in the party... You're really only going to be able to hit one of these guys. Okay, uh, then that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to punch it. Okay. So, Mitz jumps down from the tree line. Um, I will say, also make an acrobatics check, because it is kind of far to the center okay. of the thing. Oh, yeah. No problem. What, what, what was it? That's a uh, 25. Okay, yeah, with the 25, yeah, you leap out of the tree. Uh, go ahead and uh, you, you roll the 26 for attack, so that does hit. Okay. We'll just use that roll. Uh, do do I see this? Uh, yeah, you you see this. Nine do points. I know whether or not these creatures are susceptible to physical attacks? You do not. Okay. Um, what was the damage there, Mitz? Nine points. Nine? Okay. Yeah. So nine points of damage. So you uh, you strike with the first strike and just club it right in the back of the head and you do feel your fist make purchase Okay. as you land in kind of a crouch. Um, with that, I do need everybody to roll initiative. But of course. I mean, I don't feel bad, that bad because Brian said last week that they're evil, so... I mean, evil doesn't always necessarily mean out to kill you. Right? There's lots of different <clears throat> kinds of evil. Just throwing that out there. Like lawful evil, which is like super close to lawful good. Kind of is. But... It's just a matter of perspective. <laughs> yeah. Not... I walk that fine line. <laughs> okay. So that was Abigail. And, um... Okay. So I need 20 and up. 28. Okay. 21. Okay. 23. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You'd think we would have learned by now. You think I would have learned, but I, I don't learn ever. Okay, 15 through 20. 18. 18. 15. All right. Cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. Okay, uh, da, 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 10 through 15. The fact that you have to ask means... <laughs> means that their initiative is lower. Potentially. Eight. Eight, okay. Okay, so let me change it to some more appropriate music. 
Okay, so Mitsk flies out of the trees, clubs one in the back of the head. Its head turns 360 <gasps> degrees to look at him. And Wouldn't it, it be 180? Yes, 180 yeah. degrees. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm out of, I, I forgot my degrees. Uh, anyway. 98 degrees. Its, it's, <laughs> head, it's head spins to, spins behind it to look at Mitsk, and Kalashaw, you are up. Speak your purpose now or be struck down. Uh, and Kalashaw will draw his uh, dagger, draw a whisper, uh, ready to strike, but not making an attack action. Okay. Uh, all you hear is... <sighs> Trespassers. <sighs> and then uh, one of the others, you hear another just like... like it's almost like it, it talks with a sigh as it says... You state your business here. Dementors. <laughs> and then, I'm sorry, were you holding your action for any kind of aggressive movement? Was that what you were saying, Kalashaw? Yeah, I will uh, fight defensively. Okay. Uh, that will bring it to Reyna. Um, I'll pull Fendris out, and I will also hold my action on the one that Miss was attacking in case they do anything hostile. Okay. Garen. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> we're looking for the Black Dragon Slayer. That's all we're here for. We killed it. We deserve its loot. <gasps> Roll persuasion. Oh. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Too bad I can't cast guidance. Uh oh my god. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20. You fucking <laughs> it. Off the bat. Hey, I will I would gladly take a charisma nat 20 over a combat nat 20 any day. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh my god, that's the best nat 20 I've had in a long time. <laughs> okay, so you say this, and just again through through a sigh, you just hear Call off your friend. Let us speak. Everyone, stand down. Mitz does one of these and like bows in front of the dude. Okay, we're gonna. So what we're what we're gonna do now is an initiative order is gonna stay in effect. Okay. The combat has ended. Uh, if shit were to break out again, it's going to happen from the next in person in initiative down. Is how we'll do okay. that. But for now, there is a tense standoff between you and these these uh, shadowy beings. You killed the great black dragon. Great? I... I guess. Yeah, we did. Me and my boo here, we did it. <laughs> Good. It was corrupting our wood. <laughs> That's not surprising. Uh, damn it. Everybody <laughs> hates corrupted wood. Stop it. Do you happen to know where the lair is? <sighs> Deep in the basin, the lair of the black dragon lies. They stopped the flow of nature through these woods. <laughs> yeah, well, that shit's dead as fuck now. Yeah, there's uh, there's two less of those things around for now. We're trying to get rid of the all, nah, the rest of them, but we need everything we can use to help. We're not here. We we we're not here to cause problems. We're not here to fight you. If anything, we are definitely more about getting things back in balance. Natural order. Yeah. And again, you just hear a deep sigh. This one, uh, and every time they talk, it's a different one talking. They all sound very similar, uh, but the sounds almost come like sound like they're coming from every direction. 
<clears throat> and then so the, the next one speaks. <sighs> then it appears our goals for now are aligned. Good. Oh. Good. My name's Captain Kalashaw. You can kill me, Lothrael. And that comes from all of them, almost like they're a hive mind. Whoa. You are collective. In a One sense. sense. I'm Can you gonna say your name again? <laughs> uh, they said it was Lothrael. Okay, never going to remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, Siegfried's writing it down. <laughs> Is there uh, is there anything we can do to help you all? You already did by killing the great black dragon. It's also great. Yeah. yeah. So you will let us pass through peacefully. If your goal is to take what was theirs, we will do you one better. Really? We shall guide you safely to your destination. Insight check. (laughs) Go ahead. You guys are so nice. (laughs) That is very kind. Five. Five. (laughs) I mean, they don't really have faces, which make them incredibly hard to read. We will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll accept your help. Uh, yeah, we'll follow you remember, blindly in the dark forest. Yes, and just remember, we've already killed two dragons, so if you, you know, kind of uh, in the back, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, okay. We're strong, so don't do it. We're helping. Um, you hear, yes, you right. hear a very deep chuckle. It's very, co- it's very condescending. Oh. Um, yeah, our intentions respond. are only, only to take what is rightfully ours, which is, yeah, whatever the dragon had taken. We can respect power. You did kill two dragons. So... The treasure rightfully belongs to you, however. Okay. You are not the only one seeking the treasure. Mm. I'm not we surprised. Would re- we would recommend you make haste. Who's looking for it? Not looking for. Found. Oh. Who else has found it? What was left of the dragon cultists? <sighs> if right. the dragon was to not return, they were to destroy the horde. Oh, All wow. Right. We better hurry. Would you uh, care to lead the way? We shall lead the way. And as DM, I'm going to ask, are you planning on traveling through the night to reach your destination? <laughs> Yeah. You guys were still about a day out. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we should. Okay. So. It's not going to be pretty, but yeah. With the help of the Shadow Horrors, you are led to the most direct route, which actually does shave a little bit of time off. Uh, By midday of the next day, you do make it there. However, you do all suffer one point of exhaustion. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, yep. Which means that all ability checks, not saving throws or attacks, but just ability checks, are at disadvantage. Okay. Keep that in mind if you have to make <clears throat> any kind of charisma or uh, ability check. Got it. Okay. Um, so as you guys get okay. closer, uh, you see the shadow horrors. They kind of just swirl in front of you to halt your progress. This is as far as we can go. It's far too bright out there and you do see uh that the the trees become far more sparse and while there are still shadows for them to travel uh between it 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 looks a little hinky for them and you you can tell that they just don't really want to risk it um 
Yeah, How I appreciate your help. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. You're welcome. And uh, so what you guys see from this vantage point, uh, you do see just small, like, uh, like mounds and hills. Uh, kind of almost like uh, like dried plains grass. Uh, the grass itself seems to almost be corrupted in this area. Um, it's it's just it doesn't look healthy. The sun itself is not bright enough to have dried it out and turned it into almost like desert like conditions. However, that is the kind of condition that you do see the flora and fauna in this area. Uh, Can I survival check the grass to see what's causing it to? be like this if the sun's not hot enough to do it? I would say nature check. Go ahead. Nature? Yes. I cast guidance. I'm really going to make that a ticker. <laughs> ten. With a ten, um, the most you can ascertain uh, from the, the grass that's that's around is that it's definitely it's it's not natural the way that it is something caused it to be this way it, there seems to be some kind of corruption but past that it's it's hard to say but you do know that it's not from any natural means and i relay all that okay right um, this must be their rotted wood god damn it dnd beyond i'm going to burn you down so do you think this is the layer layer area? Um, Raina, go ahead and make me a survival check. You been... I cast guidance. But a disadvantage, right? It is at disadvantage. Yep. Perfect. Guidance. Okay. And you said survival? Yeah. I get a plus 10 either way. Ooh, 22. Okay. <laughs> uh, with a 22... You, you kind of look around at, at the land and at the, the shape of the rolling hills, and you know that you're not too far from the Foramir Basin proper. Uh, it's, it's probably hidden behind some of these mounds, but you know you're not too far off. You figure maybe at most about an hour of travel. But you're getting close. I think if we continue on a little further, we'll find it. Okay. Okay. Let's. Should we run? Um. Stealth, maybe. We're uh, we're already exhausted. Um. It's already a little more sparse out here, so I don't really think hiding is an option. But I think being aware of our surroundings to the best of our ability would be the most beneficial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we? If we take a short rest, will our exhaustion be better? Nope. No. Okay. Then That's let's a long just rest, baby. Okay. All right. This they better not have destroyed everything by the time we get there. I swear to God. <clears throat> okay. So who is going to? I'm assuming Reyna and Kalisha is normal, or are leading? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and make a flat survival check roll, uh, or uh, both of you roll with disadvantage. However you choose to do. I cast guidance. I'll make a flat roll. Okay. If I could pick up my D4, that is. <laughs> 25. 25. Okay, so with a 25, uh, as you guys are making your way closer and closer, you begin to find um, small, shallow pools of acid that have formed in the, uh, the actual dirt itself. You can mm. see um, almost like black veins running through the dirt into the actual like tree lines and uh, all the grass and any kind of shrubbery. Uh, Siegfried, seeing this, you kind of put two and two together and you realize that the corruption of all the nature in this area is probably caused by these small pools of acid and that there's probably a much larger pool of acid. That's really the crux of all of this. Um, as you continue to travel with a roll like that, Kalisha, I will say that you also notice every so often uh, footprints heading in directions away from the Foramir Basin itself. So it seems like whatever group was here had left probably a day prior uh, from the freshness of the footprints. 
Um, you guys continue to make your way, and the pools of acid become more numerous and much larger as you travel. But finally, you crest over a hill, and you see the, the Foramir Basin itself, and it is completely just a giant lake of acid. You see acrid smoke rising from it. You see just bubbles and pops. Uh, you can see that the acid was so thick and so corrosive that it actually corroded away the entryway of the Formir waterway, and that's why the water had stopped. Uh, it basically just created almost like a dam of acidic sludge that's blocking the, the way. Mm, uh, can I activate my Eldritch Sight to see if I see anything magical, like if we're getting close to the lair at all, or if it's like anything hidden in the acid. Okay, uh, go ahead. What's your what's the range on that? Let's find out. Um, Is it 30 feet? 30 feet. Oh, 30 feet. Yeah. Uh, 30 feet from yeah. self. So within 30 feet of you, no. You don't notice okay. anything. Okay. Um... And so the acid is blocking our path forward? No, the, the acid's blocking the waterway. You guys were no longer traveling in the waterway. The shadow mm -hmm. horrors had, had kind of pulled you in a more direct route Can to save it? you the trouble of winding around, which saved you about a half day of travel. Okay. I don't have anything to fix this waterway, but I'm ready to keep going if you guys are. We have to. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> okay, so as you guys approach, uh, go ahead, I will say... Reyna, go ahead and roll me Perception. I cast Guidance. <laughs> dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay, with a Dirty 20, you do notice uh, that there are a lot of tracks... But there are no people. Um, you see uh, cart tracks. You see hoof prints. You see footprints. Uh, you see some crates that are kind of hidden amongst some of the shrubs that are, are, are growing out or were growing out in the area. Uh, and you see, like, drag marks towards the acid. And, again, just cart, cart tracks that lead away uh, as well, seemingly in the direction of Kaimal. Shit. Maybe they dumped it all already. They dumped what they could in the acid and took the rest of Kaimal, I guess. And like I said, there are some crates that were left behind. Uh, you would imagine that they did leave in a hurry, so they might not have gotten everything. Let's check Let's... what they left. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate my Eldritch Sight again. Okay. Uh, with your Eldritch Sight, uh, where are you? are you standing by the pool of acid or by the crates or where... Where exactly yeah, do you so want to I, I want to check the crates and the pool of acid. Okay. So I'll probably do like a walkthrough. Okay, so as you're walking, uh, you do get something that pings you from the crates. Mm -hmm. And there's a few things that ping you from the acid. <laughs> oh, you guys. There's something in the acid that survived. And there's magical things in these crates. Okay, sounds like you're going in the acid. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Sounds like a plan. So what <laughs> I'm going to do... <laughs> is I'm going to dive directly into the acid to these magical items and retrieve them and then get out and then drink that acid. Okay. Acid still burns you. It's just at resistance, correct? Yes, I'm at resistance. And then also if I drink what is damaging me, I heal for half of that damage. Right. Okay. This is going to be a fun little skill. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Freed, will you go, you know, go stand watch while she does this? Just in case it goes. Yeah. Down. If she I doesn't come back up, she might need you. Let me double check my shelves really quick. Acid. Um, wait, how deep are the magical items that are in the acid? You don't know. You don't know exactly. It's, it's, hard it's, to it's a pool of acid. But it's at least within 30 feet. It's it's within 30 feet. Okay. So, I mean, that's I guess I'm just going to have to rely on the yeah. Eldritch site to navigate my way through. Mm. Um... All right, here goes nothing. Okay, wow. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip my toe in it first. 
Okay. Just to see how bad the acid is. I'm CP going to start to taking uh, taking items off of uh, Sylvia that I don't want damaged by the acid. <laughs> oh, like my staff. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I'm I'm just gonna like start like like picking ants off the back. Like. <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope. As I'm dipping my foot into the acid. So yeah, how much so, damage do I take? Uh, fifteen points of acid damage halved. Okay. Seven. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Or eight. eight. Yeah. Ooh, this is pretty bad, actually. I mean, it's a giant pool of acid. Yeah. Let's, let's tie a rope. Oh, the, the acid will um. leave the door. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Hope you know how to swim real well. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh. I... Do you Eureka. have that elemental thing? Spell? No, but I might have something that might work here. Um, oh, what about Mage Hand? I have Mage Hand. Oh, this is better than Mage Hand. Oh. oh God, Ren, spit it out, spit it out. Speaking Brian, of Mage Hand, I have some ideas. Brian, could I use Bigby's no. hand? <laughs> Bigby's hand? Yeah. Huh. No. Because it can grasp, like, a person or... Uh, -huh. uh hold on, let me see. It says... Bigby, Bigby's, Bigby's hand has... Too. Yeah, it does take damage. Oh, yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it does, doesn't it? But if it can grab it fast enough, it won't take enough damage mm. to deteriorate because it's got your hit points. And which you're a big which, chunk of hit points. Just so you know, Garen does not have resistance also. So. Okay, um, so sorry. What, my mage hand doesn't take damage, though. Does it? I don't but it believe also it does. may not be enough to drag out whatever's down there. And that's the thing. Because uh, it can only lift like five pounds. Yeah. Um, be fine. I believe in you. You can do okay. this. Oh, I see. So it's got it's got hit points equal to my hit points. Mm -hmm. That that's what that means. Okay. Yep. <sighs> and I mean, honestly, it's... you can cast it where she points to. It's worth a back. it's worth a shot at least. I mean, it okay. is. Okay, let me try my mage hand first to see if it's too heavy, so you don't waste a spell slot. Right. Because the the mage the my little mage hand is a cantrip. Yeah. yeah it's a, you know everything's worth a try, you know, like better than going in and burning yourself. I'm gonna start yeah. working on these crates because <clears throat> yeah, I assume she pointed the crates out too. Yes, yes she, I did. She did. Uh, we'll okay. we'll get to the crates when they're done with that, but we'll I just wanted to, to. I would be doing that while they're doing okay. this. Yes. So I cast Mage Hand, and it's like this really like purple and black spectral hand with real nice nails, and it goes, and I'm gonna send it in the direction of the magic items I can see with my Eldritch Sight. Okay. Uh, so I will say there there are two items in there that are in okay. the in the acid that you can see. Okay. Um, I will say that I do need you to roll a perception check. Okay. To see if you can guide your hand, because even though you can see the items, you can't really see the hand uh, through yeah. the thick right. acid. Even though I can't see the hand, could I sense it potentially? Or wouldn't I? Isn't it magical? So I would be able to see with my Eldritch Sight. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll say sure. But you still need to roll perception to make sure that yeah, you can no, grab whatever's down there. Yeah. Okay. So it's at disadvantage because I'm exhausted, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm casting guidance on myself too. Can you do that though? I don't think Mage Hand is concentration. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not. Wait, you know what? I think it is actually. Hang on. I think it. It might yeah, be. Yeah, I, I think I literally just like one of the more recent episodes of Critical Role I was listening to. They had the same conversation. Well, guidance is instantaneous though. But it's also yeah, concentration. But guidance requires concentration though because they don't use it immediately. Yeah. They can use it up to within a minute. So it's concentration. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on, I'm checking right now. I mean, it's a it's a D four, so you don't have to necessarily. It yeah. does so. not say concentration on Mage Hand, so it is not. There okay. you go. Um, oh, cool. Okay, then I'll keep the. Bitchin. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, with a fourteen, it it does take a little bit, 
Mm -hmm. uh, but you do manage to to kind of see the the two magical essences <clears throat> pass over. Okay. And you're able to grasp one of the items and pull it out, and you pull out the ring of the ram. Ooh. So it'll still have to be before anybody can use it. Uh, it'll have to be done by Mr. Garren, but that is okay. one of the items you find. I'm going to uh, make another attempt for the other magical item. I'm going to hand the ring to Kalisha. Okay. Or Garen, because I don't know it's a ring of the ram, right? No. Yeah, I got to. Okay. Um, okay, so go ahead and uh, roll another perception check. Uh, this item does appear much larger to you. Okay, hopefully I can lift this one out. I'm also casting the... Oh, I guess I'm not getting right <laughs> That's a great sound. That's the sound you should guide should always <laughs> And I gotta find another D4. Okay. More cowbell. Ding ding. This one's a seven. Mm -hmm. A seven. You even though this one's larger and brighter, it's it's much mm -hmm. more difficult. It's almost because it has so much more to it. Uh, okay. It's it's difficult for you to grasp, but eventually, finally, it takes about ten minutes. Okay. You do manage to find it, and you tug, and it is too heavy for your mage hand to move. Unfortunately. All right, Garen. This one. We're definitely going to need your big, big speeds hand spell because my mage hand isn't strong enough to pull it out. But I can help you uh, direct your big speeds hand to the object. Okay. Okay. And I'm just keeping a general eye out while we're all doing this. Okay. All right. Um, then I will go ahead and cast Bigby's hand. Okay. So you cast Bigby's hand. Um, so the item is 30 feet away, which means that there's going to be two rounds at least of acid damage to okay. get there and get back. Um, okay. But we're also going to, there's a couple rolls that need to be make, made here because she's guiding you. Yeah. And so how this is going to work is as Sylvia's guiding you, uh, I'm going to have her use her wisdom to try to guide your hand. And okay. you're going to interpret her wisdom, and this the DC is going to be set based on Sylvia's wisdom roll. Can we do it on charisma because it's communication? Uh, if no, because you're not being charismatic. Damn it! Okay, that's but, fine. But that's not going to be at disadvantage because it's not an ability, right? Oh no, no. It, it's going to be an ability check still. Yeah. 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 But it's just going to be straight wisdom. Yeah, it's still um, an ability. In a sense, it's just a big ability. Okay. Can, okay, well, then... Can I negate the uh, disadvantage with Beacon of Hope? I believe you could. Each target That's has advantage insane. on wisdom saving. Oh, uh, no, it's a saving throw, not a check. Never mind. Uh, ha -ha. Have you had... Um, My B. The one that increases ability checks. I forget what it's called. Enhance ability. Uh, I don't even know if I know that spell. You could, because cleric. You do know it, but you don't probably have it prepared. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm ready when you are, Garen. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it says that the... Yeah, it can move like six... Yeah, okay. Well, cool. Let's so do it. As, as Bigby's hand plunges into the acid, it immediately takes... So 12 points of acid to start. Okay. Uh, and Sylvia begins guiding you. Uh, Sylvia, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Casting guidance. Oh, wait. If it's a, it's a, can I do guidance on a saving <laughs> throw? Sorry, not a saving throw. Uh, an ability check. Sorry. A wisdom okay. check. The word saving throw got put in my head. Uh, 14. Okay, 14. Uh, Garen, you you hear Sylvia? She's she's guiding you towards uh, whatever the magical item is. Go ahead and make me a straight intelligence check. I cast guidance. Intelligence check. Okay. I will say you can you can only choose to use it on you or him because it's happening at the same time. Okay, then I'm gonna yeah. keep it on me because my wisdom's shit. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I got a, a seventeen. A seventeen. Okay, with a seventeen. Uh, oh, sorry, eighteen. Eighteen. 18. Okay. Yeah. So then 18, you're, you're guiding it in the general vicinity of it, but it's you can't see the hand, and it's very, very difficult for you to guide it. 
Uh, right. So it, it spends its turn still hunting the object. It's getting close, but it's not quite grasping it. So okay. it's going to go ahead and take some a little bit more damage. Okay. Uh, which is going to be uh, 15 more points of acid damage. Okay. Okay, Sylvia, go ahead and make me another wisdom check. Okay, I'm using the guidance too. Didn't volunteer you. I said you can ask. Eight. Eight. Okay, Garen, go ahead and make another intelligence check. Not 20, please. please, please. With a disadvantage. <laughs> um, oh, wow, that sucks. I did roll a 20, but... <laughs> no! <laughs> um, that's... Uh... Uh, that's still um, a 17. Okay. So with a 17, uh, Sylvia gets a little turned around and confused and forgets which which magical essence that she sees is the, is the uh, magic item and which is Bigby's right. hand. And she's telling you to move the magic item instead of the hand. And Bigby's hand is still lost in the acid okay. for, that, for that round. Uh, taking an additional 14 points of acid damage. Okay. I'm doing my best, Garen. Just go a little more to the left and the down. Left and down. Okay. Just... 37 Bre degrees to the right. Deep breath. Clockwise. Deep breath. We got this. We got this. It's okay. Center yourself. <laughs> All right. You got this, Garen. Uh, and I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A D6. All right, Sylvia, wisdom. This disadvantage is really uh 12. 12? Okay. Uh go around. <clears throat> oh my god. Wow. Okay, so I got a 6 on the inspiration and literally both rolls were natural 17s. Okay. So that is uh, 17 plus 11, so 28. Okay. With a 28, finally, Sylvia is able to guide Big B's hand a little to bit more, just the magical a little bit more item. Right there. So it, it does still take acid on this turn, but you, you have the item now. Okay. Let's hope it can make it out now. You got it. You got it. Now grab. Grab. Oh, that is a lot of big numbers. Uh, this is like a fucked up claw game. 18 points of acid damage. Okay. And as Bigby's hand grabs it and begins pulling it out, it just takes one more round of damage and if it survives it, you get the item. Oh no, it's a claw game. <laughs> it really is. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. It's the D&D &D it. claw game. You got this, baby. Uh, 12 points of acid damage. Yes! I have five to spare. Boom! <laughs> And you pull a shield. Oh. Ooh. Well, well, well. Um, well, I'll, uh, well, clean that off and start uh, working can, on identifying things. And Can I drink the acid that's on the shield to heal myself, please? Yeah, sure. You I'll just, lick the acid off the shield. <laughs> you just see Sylvia, with no explanation, just begin licking the shield. You gotta get the acid off somehow. Right, right. I okay. think there will be other ways. I'll drop the Bigby's hand and. <laughs> How much damage do I take, Brian? So I oh. know. Oh. oh, we lost Rena. I didn't even notice. Um. Well, you had taken uh, eight points of damage, so. I heal initial... for four. Okay. Um. I'm sure Dana will be back soon. Um, you know, uh, what? Eh, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste it. There's I, acid. I would, heal you, I would heal you the rest of the way, but nah. There's, there's no, I only. No, I'm okay. We're probably gonna rest here soon, anyways. Well, because yeah. like I'm exhausted. I don't know, man. Let's we'll see. I think we all are. <laughs> So while you guys, Literally. while this fucking D and D claw game is going on, uh, Mitch, you inspected the crates. Go ahead and roll investigation. Investigation. Yeah, to see if you can figure out how to open the crate. It's it's like nailed shut. <coughs> You're gonna see if there's a way to pry this thing open. And that's disadvantage. Yes. 
Okay. Wow. Oh man. Um, that's a four. A four. Uh, so you begin just like knocking on the crate and just beating all around it, and you can't quite seem to figure out where there's a seam in it at all. Um, go ahead and make make one more because you got you've got the time. Okay, much better. That is a uh, 15. Okay, yeah, with a 15, you do finally manage to find the correct seam. Uh, You could tell that you could probably pry it open with a a big enough strength check. So go ahead and roll athletics. (laughs) We go from the claw game to the cup and ball game. (laughs) Um, That is 17. Okay, with a 17, you... You just uh, you kind of like plant your feet on either side and put your 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 little front paws, wedge them in, and just tug and tug and tug before finally you hear a loud creak as the nails give way, and you manage to get the crate open. Nice. Uh, inside, you find two regular healing potions. Wow. You find one greater healing potion. Wow. You find 350 gold pieces. Holy shit. You find food and provisions. This crate keeps on getting better and better. And you find a deck of cards. No. You guys, come look at this stuff I found. We're still doing the claw game at this time, right? No, it took him a long time to figure out how to open this crate. So we're walking over there with the shield and the ring, and we're like, so what you got there, boy? Um, potions, some better potions, deck of cards, and some food. Deck of huh. cards. And Sylvia's gonna grab the deck of cards and. Be I'm like, gonna grab them from Sylvia. How is this magical? <laughs> we don't know, these characters don't know what this is. I'm just gonna grab them from Sylvia. It, I just, it honestly, yes. Garin, it looks like a regular deck of cards to you. It looks like I am going to grab them okay. from Sylvia because I don't know what they are. And Sylvia is a loose cannon. I suggest that uh, (laughs) perhaps Sylvia take uh, healing potions. Yeah. So what kind of healing potion did I get? Well, there was two. Uh, however, you guys want yeah, to split them Yeah, there were two there regular was... and one greater. I could I'll, use one. I'll take a regular. I can take a regular if we're splitting them up. I used mine last time. I'm just okay. happy to be here. Well, uh, Garin, I know that the, this deck is magical. I just don't know how. Yeah, we should probably identify them before we do <clears throat> go any further. All right, big guy, that's you. All right, so are you going to spend the next half hour ritual casting identify? Yeah. Okay. So uh, while Garen is identifying, is there anything you guys wish to do? I'm going to scout out the place and make sure we're like the only ones around. Yeah, that's what I was doing too. Okay, so both of you go ahead and roll perception checks. You guys will take opposite ends of this area. Wow. Uh, that's uh, 18. 18? Yeah. 13. Okay. Um, the area does seem clearer. Uh, you do notice some more, you know, just more of the tracks and stuff like that. Uh, hard to gauge exactly how old they are, but they are all moving away from this area. I'm gonna be trying to draw from memory what the what the uh, what what was it Lothriel, like in into my journal. Okay. Um, <clears throat> shadow person. Thing. Go ahead and roll. Roll a a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you have a good image of them in your mind. It's just a matter if you can make it translate to the actual drawing. Disadvantage, I assume. Yep. Uh, four, four. Um, you, you, you picture them in your mind, but 
as you close your eyes to envision them, you just feel your eyelids just get so heavy. You're just so <laughs> freaking exhausted. And as you begin to draw, every so often you nod off and your hand lazily just slips and draws extra lines and little <laughs> lines through them. I mean, you get the general idea, but it's it's not a very good representation. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kalshaw, were you going to do anything? Uh, I'm just going to be watching God Ren. Okay. No. Uh, so we're, we're not long resting right now, right? No, he's just taking 10 minutes each item, so a half hour. I guess I'll work on my book okay. that I'm writing. Um, <laughs> go ahead, and this one's going to be... I'm going to actually make this one a strength check. A strength check? Actually, no, it's a constitution check. It's That's gonna be a constitution oh, okay, check, okay, yeah, because okay, okay. you're stealing your resolve against the exhaustion to actually get the words out. Okay. Bum ba bum. Constitution. It's still at disadvantage, right? Yeah, because it's just <laughs> an ability check. Oh, I got a nat twenty, but the other one was not good. Oh. Uh, thirteen. Okay, with a thirteen, I mean, you get a passable chunk of of chapter done. Mm -hmm. uh, the chapter is still not complete, but you're you're making a little bit of headway. Um, but every, like, you just, your eyelids are so heavy and you just kind of keep nodding off a little bit as you write. And every so mm -hmm. often, like, one of the words, like, trails off a little bit. <laughs> Me and Siegfried are doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and by the time you guys are all done, Garen, you know that you have a Ring of the Ram, mm -hmm. a Sentinel Shield. Okay. And a deck of many things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Of course we do. What is it? <clears throat> it's a deck of many things. What oh, awesome. Mean? It means... <sighs> you remember when we were at the Temple of Fate? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And we had I'm to take a stone... Of many things at Temple of Fate? No. We had to take a stone... Each of us had to take a stone just so we could pass through a gate. And four out of five of us picked a really bad stone. How many cards are in the deck? Um, I will also say, though, that the other two that got really bad things had no adverse effects to having those really bad things <laughs> except for me. At the um, time, it's yeah. So but... fuck I'm like 50. That wasn't because of that, though. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was because of the, the thing we fought, not because of the deck. There we go. Oh, no, because I got... Go. Was it? Bad? You got you got zipped to another plane. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. You got the moon weaver. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Brian, does this deck have 13 cards or 22? It's a 22-card deck. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Um. That's a lot of cards. So basically, well, I want to try. I want to try. No, no. wait. <laughs> nope. No. Uh uh. Come on. Why not? On. Nope. I kind of want to draw one. Nope. Are you guys really going to tell us we can't draw one card right yep. now? Yeah, right. At this, at this moment, I'm just We're saying, exhausted. Let's take a pause and uh, let's try to. F let's, let's. Let's. Okay, fine. Get some then, what does the shield do? Right. The shield. Uh, fudge. There we go. Okay. So. All right. The shield is. Oh. While holding the shield, you have advantage on initiative rolls and perception checks. And it's a plus. Yeah, it's just a plus two. So, so basically, it's. It gives advantage on initiative and perception. That's I think, um, dope. Siegfried needs a new shield. His shield's looking a little dinky. And that's an and extra he two to his AC. And think. he definitely needs advantage on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like that shield is plus five to AC. Uh, oh, no. How no, much to AC? No, 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 no. It it's. Like is it a plus two? No, no it's just, no, it's no, just no, no. the regular. It's just a plus two to armor class. Like oh, a okay, okay. Okay. 
I'm that's, gonna plus two shield. I, Damn. No, I, I misread. I just no. It's just like a regular shield, but it'll give him advantage on initiative, which he could use, um, and perception checks, which is great because he's probably got a really high perception. So you know, that's just like even better. I like, concur. Yeah. Um, and then the ring of the ram. Uh, I'm never up close and personal for me to I'm, ever get from that. The ring of the ram has three charges that you roll each day to see if they reload. They do yeah. a certain amount of damage. Uh, with you the main roll a hit. Yeah. Based attack roll plus seven on a hit for each charge you spend. 2d10 force damage and is pushed five feet. Alternatively, try to break an object within 60 feet. Uh, yeah, it's got range to it too. Okay, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, that can go sixty feet. So Ooh. maybe mitts, mitts. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna pair well with the thunder chucks. <laughs> what do those things do anyway? <laughs> oh, you don't remember what I did to Kalashaw in the room? They're really loud. I'm oh, tired. He and got, he got knocked back into the wall too. It's really fun. Oh. I don't think you get to say you're old around me or Sylvia Garin. I'm not old. I'm not old. <laughs> you're handsome. Uh, uh, not handsome. Yes, Age you are. Relative. Yeah, what Siegfried said. Wow, I'm crazy. Got a ram ring and the super cool helmet. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the helmet. <laughs> right. Uh, All right. right. So to this deck. No. Yeah. I'm ready. What do you mean no? No. Um, I. You guys don't have to draw from it, but. Wait, what was okay, the? Okay. Uh... Okay. I can't control what you guys do. Can but can we please wait to draw anything from it when we're not exhausted? That's what That's I'm fair. asking. Can I don't know what it can pull out of it. If we have to fight sleep. something, I don't want to be tired. Yeah, let's sleep on it. Well, I mean, we scattered it out. You think this is a good spot to rest? Let's just do it. We have the hut thing. Yeah, we have the hut. Real quick, it was Sentinel Shield, right? Correct. Yes. Yes. How about the hut? All right, I'll pop out the hut. <laughs> Mitz is going to spend the night attuning. Well, not the night, but like, you yeah. know. About a half hour. Yeah, I'm just gonna be stroking the ring, saying "My precious." <laughs> <laughs> you just see Mitz in the corner. He's just like gently stroking the ring, uh, just talking to it, so whispering sweet bright. nothings. Every so often, so he just purrs beautiful. a little bit. Um, okay. Was there anything you guys want to do before you take your long rest? <laughs> Not a particular fan of this big eye symbol on my shield, but just yeah. pretend it's an eye of a raven. <sighs> just imagine it keeping watch out for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so anything you guys are doing before you take your long rest? Um. I am definitely tucking the deck into my underpants. That's not gonna print that's not gonna dissuade Kelly Shaw. <laughs> I will go get it. <laughs> but I'm not taking any chances with this group. <laughs> Come get that dick. I mean deck. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the dick of many things. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> this is just the theme of the day, yo. You know? Hey, it's you know? D D, Dex and Dicks. That's right, that's right. No! Why is that not our show title? <laughs> hey, maybe we'll have a spin-off. Hey, you want that D? &D? Yeah you do. <laughs> I guess oh for D and D would it be called a roll off, a roll off show. Raina doesn't want either of those things. D and D and chill. <laughs> wow. All right. So, wow. as uh, is is anybody keeping watch? By the way, um, I will after my trance. Well, we also have uh, Sylvia. She's 
doesn't sleep, so... Okay. I just kind of sit still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I can roll. Oh, yeah, how did you get exhausted? You still get exhausted when you're... When yeah, you're, I still have the long rest. Course, I just don't... Oh. I'm not required she to doesn't have to sleep. do anything. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight hours of light activity. Is it just a regular roll? Uh, no, it's still exhaustion until you actually achieve your long rest. Long rest. Okay, I'm going to cast Guidance on myself. Uh, 13? 13. Okay, uh, with a 13, the night passes by without any mm-hmm. real incident. Uh, it seems like whoever was here is gone. They are not. don't seem to be coming back, at least right now. Um, mm-hmm. It's pretty uneventful. However, while you guys are asleep, I need everybody but Siegfried to take their headsets off for just a <gasps> second. No. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Siegfried, what's up? As you're drifting off to sleep, you almost feel like you're floating into a dream. And despite how heavy your armor weighs you down all the time, and and despite everything that's happened to you up to this point, you feel light, uh, almost like a feather. And... You gently seem to float down and down and down until you gently land in a pile of something soft. And you look down, and it appears to be uh, a large room filled with with dark black raven feathers. (sighs) As you sit up and and kind of push yourself up into a sitting position and, and, and pull yourself to stand... You see a light far, far away, and you see the outline of a figure standing in the light. I walk towards it. Okay. As you begin walking towards it, the light gets brighter and brighter, and you see the figure now uh, to be the slender figure of a woman, and she wears dark black clothing, and the... the... um... Not not a cape is not the word I'm looking for, but like the the cowl she's wearing uh, has like a hood over her head and it drapes behind her and it tapers off into like raven like feathers on the bottom. You see a white porcelain mask over her face. And I know who this is, don't I? You do know who this is. And I drop to one knee. <laughs> and as you do, uh, she strolls forward and you see just from her like knees to her feet and she wears these these black boots that are made of leather with uh, black buckles, just everything just dark. She is the darkness herself, and as she approaches, she reaches down with her gloved hand and raises your chin to look at her. My child, we have not been properly introduced, but I believe you know who I am. Yes, I do. And I most certainly know who you are. That fills me with joy. Do you know that you were coming to me? No. You were on your way. But your friend Kalashaw, he... He made a deal with me for your life. And I only allowed the deal because you are so important to me and you have much important work to do in my name before you truly join me by my side. And what is it? you want me to do you must bring order back to Alexandria, you and your friends as as one who understands the balance of life and death what has happened what has transpired this is not natural this was never meant to be this was not supposed to happen it must be set right We will do just that. I know you will, Siegfried. I've had my eye on you since you traveled the plains all the way from Norvas to this land that you did not expect to be in, but you have certainly made your presence known in. You have done good works in my name, and I know you will continue to do so. So I wanted to reward you and tell you this, the vestige you are after. It was once my own. I used it against the undead to smite them from this plane. 
And while I cannot help you retrieve it, I can tell you this. It will be my honor to have you be the one to wield it. You are too kind, my queen. And she kisses you on the forehead. And as she does, your eyes flutter open. So, uh, Sylvia, the night passes, and you all slowly come to um, Siegfried. You you rise, feeling the most rested you have in a very long time. A single tear rolling down my cheek. Mm. You good, bud? Oh, I am good. Good. We must press on to Camel. Find no, we, have this. A, we have a deck to talk about first, right? I oh. thought about this all night. And I think I should just draw just just one card. Yeah, I mean, that's that's your choice. I do not want to be anywhere near you pulling that card. Yeah, no, me either. Go for it. You're <clears throat> not going to pull one, Kalashaw? Oh, oh, I intend to draw from the deck. Okay. <laughs> okay, because I just didn't want to be the only one. Okay, so are you pulling? All right, Sylvia. Remember, I love you. <laughs> I love you guys. It's been great. She shuffles the deck. Oh, I don't give her the deck. Oh, no? <laughs> no, I'm holding on to this thing, okay? <laughs> I will what? hold the deck out. You may draw. Well, I have to shuffle it. No, you don't. You're going to get your juju no. onto it. I can't draw you're, with your juju on the deck. not taking this deck out of my no. hand. I have to shuffle it. No, you don't. I will shuffle it. But then it has all your juju. I Okay, I read cards for a living, Garen. Do you want to draw or not? Yeah, that's, but that's, I want to shuffle it. Yeah, it's not happening. Nope. Why? I can because. go first if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Why are you doing this? Why? Yeah. It seems exciting. It's an opportunity, right? Fate? I think fate's on my side. It's a gamble. I like to live dangerously. That's what you like about me. <laughs> so. Uh, that's, um, uh, all right. Okay. <sighs> Kalashaw, draw from the deck. I would like to draw three cards from the deck. <gasps> As we get a raid. Okay, well, that is a perfect time for a raid. <laughs> Thank you, Welcome Party RPG. Three <laughs> Kalashaw. Now, I will have you know, in case you guys didn't hear it over the microphone, I have been shuffling this deck of cards, so I don't even know what's about to happen. Okay? So, drawing the first card. Dear Lord. Then the first card is... Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> the two of clubs. So, okay, this translates clubs. to... Oh, Jesus. The idiot card. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Which is really aptly named. <laughs> oh. But you get to draw an additional card after you lose 1d4 plus 1 intelligence. Yes. So go ahead and roll a d4. So 4 now? <laughs> no, you can't cast guidance. You can't guidance. cast guidance on this. I'd roll a 1. Okay. So, it is. okay. so your good, intelligence good, will good. be a flat... 10 now. Oh, okay, yes. that's not bad. I, I'm going oh, no, to make dragon. you edit it. Oh, no, a dragon. Okay. That was card Born number me. one. Card number two. Ace of clubs. clubs. Oh. Okay. Which I'm not okay. sure is even in this. I just, I didn't. Oh, it is. It's it is. talons. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, talons. Uh, so talons. Oh, oh. oh shit. Okay. I don't no, remember. Brian, let Brian read it. No. Uh, I just broke the game. <laughs> okay. Well, what? this is okay. 
Oh fuck. The what? one the one thing you're worried about is not destroyed, it just vanishes because it's considered an artifact. Okay. Uh every magic item you wear or carry disintegrates. Artifacts in your possession aren't destroyed but do vanish. So, your boat is gone. <gasps> oh. Uh, his items. <laughs> his, just his. Whisper's Good. gone. Yeah, Whisper's gone, though. Oh, uh, fuck. Here, So here's what you notice. Every mag magical item you have literally just turns to dust around your feet. With the exception of Whisper, you notice that Whisper doesn't turn into dust. It just vanishes. And you're not sure where it goes. Aren't you wearing magical you armor, too? you to it because you're attuned? No. He has to throw it. That has to be an actual active action. Does yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Card three. I don't know if uh, eight of clubs is in there. I don't think it is. I don't think there's any eights. So I know. pulling again. Oh, uh, there are no there, nines but... in the deck. That's another eight. That's a four. There are no fours. <laughs> Sorry. Does that make Kalashaw sans armor now? Uh, yeah. Was your armor magical, Kalashaw? Yes. <laughs> it disintegrated. Yeah. I'm just pulling until I Aren't get to one. Aren't you wearing okay. Alexio's armor? No, I was wearing my armor. Okay. Queen of Clubs. That's Why are you drawing so many black cards? There, Brian? I'm literally Damn. just pulling. I shuffle. Oh. I don't know what to tell you. Flames. A powerful devil becomes your enemy. The devil seeks your ruin and plagues your life, savoring your suffering before attempting to slay you. This enmity lasts until either you or the devil dies. So you don't know that this has happened. Awesome. And this can happen at any time. <laughs> I am making a note of this for later. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, wow. Okay, so the last card you pull doesn't seem to have any effect whatsoever it just vanishes from your hand and disappears oh now you do have the opportunity to pull one more because you pulled the idiot card <laughs> i will pull one more okay. yeah, like, oh. an like an idiot would okay yeah just... this is painful yikes on bikes there's a lizard on derek's shoulder i love it <laughs> so that's, cute that's falcor okay. Uh, that's another Adorable. eight. That's a seven. Oh, that's a six. That's a jack of. Wait, I want to take it. I'm spades. Take it like that. Damn! Oh, All black cards. Rogue. Oh, great. A non-player character of the GM's choice becomes hostile towards you. The identity of your new enemy isn't known until the NPC or someone else reveals it. Nothing less than a wish spell oh. or divine intervention can end the NPC's hostility towards <laughs> you. Oh no! Good. You don't know. That that happened either. Just another seemingly seeming to be a dud card. So you feel slightly more mentally sluggish. You can't naked. explain it. Uh, <laughs> right after you, you kind of get dumbed down a little bit, all of your shit disappears. Which, it's hard to connect it to the cards at the moment just because you just took a mental, mental drain. And then nothing else happens. It's kind of weird. Well, that doesn't seem so bad. Damn it. Oh, he lost everything he had almost. That was of any worth. Okay, one second. And I'm going to take all my magical items off, other than the armor, because I obviously <laughs> can't take the armor off. And I'm going to put it in a pile to the side and be like, Mick, claim you can't. this. It's still considered in your possession, just out of character. Yeah. But you I'm can't pull the in, same card, can you? You can't pull the same card because they're gone. Yeah. They're oh, gone. are they gone out of the deck? There are now 18 cards in this deck. Okay, guys. That, that is that actually is... not true. There's only two cards that disappear once pulled. Oh, okay. Oh. So okay, this sucks. I'm going to reshuffle Which the we deck. Which we don't know that as characters. We don't. Nope. So... Mm -hmm. So Mitz, deck are you is gonna draw? Being reshuffled. Um, or I? Yeah, screw it, I'll go. Okay. Kalisha, do you have any weapons now? Oh yeah, I have I'm packed with gills with weapons. Besides the rapier you used in Whisper. Would you like uh, shield that is in uh... God no. Okay. I don't I don't do shields. 
Okay. You apparently don't do armor either. So, <sighs> who is to... pulling next? It's okay. I'll go. Oh, man, I don't even have my old okay. armor because I gave it to Abigail. So, Mitz, um, you have to call how many you're going to pull before you pull, and that's how that works. I'm just going to take one. Okay, so you pull one. That's... I give my armor to you. Okay, two oh. of hearts. Oh, please, please. Oh. Two of hearts. Okay, please. gem. Ow. Oh. Uh, 25 pieces of jewelry worth 2,000 gold pieces each appear at your feet. Wow. Wow. Oh, Mitch, you're uh, rich. He, he got he, shiny. He got shiny. Oh, I love the shiny. Look at all the <laughs> I'm just gonna deck my fingers and toes out with some rings right now. They're they're yeah, you just you look like a fucking and East Coast rapper. Can are there any diamonds in there? Uh they're it's not it's cause it's not it's not gems, it's it's actual jewelry, so yeah, oh, actually, okay. yeah. Wow. But if they had diamonds in them, we could take them. <laughs> yeah. Are there any? You could certainly try without damaging them. Okay. I want the Squire one so bad. <laughs> oh, God. I really hope nobody gets that. <laughs> you mean okay. I'm taking all of my magical items except for my armor, and I'm giving it to somebody else for their <clears throat> possession. Okay. Mitz, hold on to these. Like that. I'll take my staff back. Mitz falls <laughs> over because of the, the weight of just like all the jewelry <laughs> and everything just being thrown on him. You, should, you just see oh. Mitz like rings out in front of him in his paws and he puts this like large gold chain over his neck and just teeters over face first into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So. <sighs> I'm going to draw two. Okay, Sylvia draws two. Okay, oh. Okay. <laughs> I, oh. Don't, I don't know if this is a good one or a bad one. Uh, if it's a black card, it's bag. <laughs> yeah. So you pull the full card. Or sorry, no, the jester card. Because it doesn't have uh, the TM. Uh, what? Where is the jester card? There it is. I like that death that mage just said not to pull that card. Uh, so it says you gain 10,000 XP because we don't do XP in this game. I'm going to equate it to one level. Oh, oh, okay. Damn. So you level up. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. All right. And this card <laughs> disappears out of the deck. But you don't know that. My heart is beating right now. Like, literally, I'm actually afraid. Kay. Yeah, because you have to pull another one. <laughs> the second card... Uh -huh. That's a six. Ah, Jack of Clubs. Womp womp. Skull. You summon an avatar of death, a ghostly humanoid skeleton <laughs> clad in a tattered black robe and carrying a spectral scythe. It appears in the space of my choice within 10 feet of you and attacks you. Um, That's all so, I'm going to tell you about it. I got grab uh, this. <laughs> Brian, I think this would be a great time to go to break so that Riley can level. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, as oh my God. as you pull the second card, like you, you're feeling more powerful, you're feeling buffer and smarter and just stronger, and as you pull the second card, a large phantasm appears in front of you with a large scythe and swings at your head. <laughs> Sylvia, you just barely managed to duck out of its way as it points a bony skeletal finger to you. It says... You must win this battle alone. If any of your friends interfere, it shall spe it shall be their doom as well. And with that, I need you to roll initiative. My heart is fucking racing. Fuck you, Greg. <laughs> <clears throat> that would be a 21. 21. All right. So you do have the first attack. So what are you gonna do? Uh, the rest of you, <clears throat> the rest of you, you guys kind of scatter a little bit as this thing appears. Um, Sylvia, after you dodge, you. I. Oh, fuck. A lot of my spells do necrotic, and I'm kind of nervous. Um. <clears throat> I am going to cast. Uh. Mirror image on myself. Okay. 
And how far away is it from me? It's right in front of you. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cast Mirror Image. And that's all I can do. Okay. So as you, you cast Mirror Image, three more Sylvias appear alongside you. Mm-hmm. Uh, as as that happens, it goes it goes ahead and it uh, sweeps its scythe at you. Mm-hmm. Um, and apparently, this thing doesn't roll to hit. It just what? Hits. It. Oh, but I still have to roll to see if it hits my mirror image, though. Yes. So it hits my duplicate. Okay. So it sweeps its scythe right through your duplicate, and you manage to kind of dodge out of the way a little bit because that scythe comes really, really, really close to you. Okay. Um, bringing it back to your turn. All right. I don't think I have a choice since it always hits, and I'm going to go ahead and cast Vampiric Touch and attack with that. Okay. Um, and that's so, what, what kind of damage is that? A roll, it's a roll to hit, I think. Okay. You make a melee spell attack against a creature within your reach. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, Vampiric Touch is right here. I got a nat one. A nat <laughs> one. So, as you reach out to grab <laughs> the the Avatar of Death, it holds its... its uh, the. Okay. The actual like stick part of its scythe, and you just grab onto that instead, and all the necrotic energy is expended into that, and it takes no damage. Mm-hmm. Um, was there anything else you could do? Uh, no. Okay, with that, it is going to go ahead and make its attack on you. It swings its scythe again. Okay, let me roll for my mirror image. Oh, this is not fucking good. And it hits me. It hits you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you will take five points of slashing damage. Okay. And four points of necrotic damage. Okay. As the the scythe sweeps through you, uh, one of your mirror images tries to jump into the way, and it adjusts its swing, catching just a glimpse of the real you. And it just slices right along your arm. <coughs> uh, bringing it to your turn. Okay. I'm really fucking upset that that vampire touched and... So uh-huh. it's, it's concentration, so it does stay up. Oh, it does? Yeah, although you do need to make a concentration check, so go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Okay, and I have advantage because of my war... Um, caster. Yeah. Caster. Yep. So that is a 21. Okay, so you maintain concentration. Okay, so I'm going to do my vampiric touch again. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Uh, That would be a 16. Okay, so with a 16, you reach out to grab it again, and this time it blocks with the blade of the scythe, and you just can't quite manage to uh, get purchase on this thing. Okay. That's all I can do because I can't move. So okay, so with that, it pulls its blade back and takes another swing at you. Mm-hmm. Does it hit you or mirror image? Okay, so another mirror image is destroyed as it swings out again. You kind of peer, uh, like uh, tw- twirl out of the way mm-hmm. as one of your mirror images catches it right in the face, um, and it, it just oh. roars in anger as it's being tricked. And brings it back to your turn. Okay, Vampiric Touch. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a 22. Okay. So this time you reach out, you grab it, you manage to grab it by the arm. And mm-hmm. as your nails dig into its bones, it doesn't uh-huh. appear to have any effect. It's immune to necrosis. <laughs> <clears throat> I just give me a second to mourn. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 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 All right. Uh, with that, you can almost see 
like the grinning skull grin just a little bit wider as it swings at you again. Okay. Um, my last mirror image. You now stand alone as your mirror image is decapitated by the spectral scythe. Okay. Is it my turn again? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Um... Will my Eldritch Blast be at disadvantage since he's in my space? It will be, yes. So we, like, can't do anything, can we? I mean, that's up to you. <laughs> okay, um... Shit. Okay, I am going to Eldritch Blast, and with my first one... Oh, wait, I don't have Repelling Blast anymore, I don't think. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity, use my action to dash. Oh, no, 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 because he probably has crazy movement. Okay, I guess I just Eldritch Blast him at disadvantage. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Okay. So that's two beams. So the first one at disadvantage is uh, 17. So the first Eldritch Blast, you fire at it, and it's the spectral uh, scythe actually absorbs the Eldritch energy. Uh, it did not hit. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so the second one is a natural one. Again, you, you blast again, but this time in your fear, you shoot straight off, like right past its head uh, into the ether. And with that, it looks at you and it's just it backs up like one foot and swings the scythe in an upward fashion, cutting you right across your chest. <sighs> you are going to take uh, six points of slashing damage. Uh-huh. And eight points of necrotic damage. Okay. As the scythe just cuts right through you like butter. Fuck this. How close am I? No! You're you're right there. I mean... I'm gonna grab him. I mean, you can try if, if he's I'll gonna try resist. to grab him. No, no, no. no. Like, am I am I melee or am I d ranged from it? I mean, you're, you're not melee with it. Because you all, like, instinctually okay. backed up a bit. Okay. Oh, do it. Mitz, no! Mitz, don't. I mean, what what are you doing, Mitz? Are you doing something or not? You got six Fuck seconds. It. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to shoot. Oh, fuck. Um, the four searing arc strikes at him. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so. Or radiant sun bolt is what I meant to say. Okay. Let's go. So that is a 24 hits. 22 hits. Uh, natural 20 and a 27. Yeah, all hit. Okay, so that's. Oh, nice. 1, 6, 12, 17, 21, plus 20. 41 points of radiant damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, that hurt it real good. It just poof, 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 just takes the four blasts, and as it does, it raises a finger to you, and another avatar of death appears. Oh, shit. And as it, as it attacks you, Mitz, it says... You must face this battle alone, or feel our wrath. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is your hit point maximum, Mitz? Hit point maximum? Yep. <laughs> 65. Okay. 
Okay, uh, and go ahead and roll initiative mitts. Mm. Uh, oh, man. Darren and Reina, perhaps give Sylvia uh, your healing potions. What was that, mitts? 21. 21, okay. Sylvia gave us all of her stuff before she pulled the cards. Oh, yeah. She did. Okay. Wait, did Sylvia have a healing potion? She yes, gave us I all did. Her stuff. I had a regular healing potion. Did you give it up? Mm -hmm. I gave it. It was in my pack, so I gave you my pack. Okay. Okay, so that is going to bring it to this new Avatar of Death. Um, Mitz, it swipes at you, and you feel it slice across your arm. Okay. And you take... <laughs> five points of slashing damage, and five points of necrotic damage. But it is her items. Why can she not have her items? We are not helping, simply returning. Um... Just throw me my staff! Okay, that will bring it back to Sylvia. Okay. Um, can I, like, rotate in a flanking position to, like, <laughs> neutralize the disadvantage? No, because all it's going to do is spin in place to face you. It's not being <laughs> it's not being harassed by anybody else, really. Oh, yikes. Okay. But it did take damage from minutes, yeah? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Okay. Can I kick the staff towards her? Is that what you uh, want to do? <sighs> yeah. Uh, fine. So you kick the staff over? I kick the staff towards her. Okay. It's her staff. You kick the staff towards her. I'll, I'll say that you do that. The staff rolls towards Sylvia. Okay. I'm going to pick it up. As you Is pick up the staff... Another avatar of death appears no, by Garen. Be this, despite the fact it was your staff, by Garen helping you get the I staff by kicking it towards more. you, it is now I Garen know. who has helped. So right. I'm just going to say, he's immune to necrotic. <clears throat> uh, bring it to uh, Garen. Go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. Are we about to TPK ourselves? The three of you are. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> One might call that a three PK. Dude, we just become best friends. <laughs> okay, that's uh, 21. 21? We yeah. all rolled 21s for initiative. I mean, yeah, I did. feel like that's a really good... <clears throat> okay, uh, so Sylvia, it was your turn. Uh, you picked up the staff. I won't call that an action. Oh, thank God. You are so merciful. Um, okay, so I guess I'll attack with the staff, and if I use charges, I'm going to use three charges. Do you have to attune to the staff? Were you already attuned to it? <clears throat> she was already attuned yeah, to I've it. Yeah, I've been carrying it for a while. Okay, yeah. but did you actually attune to it? I think so. Let me double check. I guess she's had it for. I gave it like, to her a while sessions ago. Sessions ago. Okay. Yeah. Um. I just want to make sure because yes, she Sam. might have multiple. Yes, okay. Because you okay. only have three slots. That's why I'm asking. It says <clears> I have. <throat> no, it's it says items. It's under items requiring attunement, but it doesn't have a blue square. Okay. Do you have an available attunement slot? No, because I have the shield. <sighs> The armor of the scaled tyrant and the ring of protection. Okay, so because you didn't unattune something and attune that, even though you were carrying it, you didn't technically attune to it. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> womp, womp. Rip. Okay, so I don't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> I am fighting <laughs> this thing for nothing. Yep. Uh, I swear I to God. You literally did it to yourself. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Garen, what's your maximum I hit points? I haven't had to use it yet. My max hit points are 74. Okay. <laughs> well, Garen, you're way more like powerful than I am DPS-wise, so you should be fine. Just use radiant damage. I don't know what DPS means. 
Damn it. <clears throat> for a second. Okay. Anyway, so you pick up the staff, you look at it, realize it's just a stick. What do you do, Sylvia? <clears throat> Make your choice. Yeah. Hit real hard, real fast. You got six yeah. seconds before you're going to lose your turn. Blast okay, I go ahead. Roll with disadvantage. Ah, oh, fucking... 16. And 7... 18. Okay. No, both, wait. Yeah, 18. So both blasts go wide again. As you... <sighs> just Elder Splash, just you're panicking. I mean, you haven't landed a hit on this thing yet, and it is just coming for you. And it is going to be its turn, where it is going to swipe at you. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it doesn't roll. Duh. Uh, you just take damage. Okay. Nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And five points of necrotic damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will bring it to the avatar that is on Garen. Garen, this avatar appears in front of you, and it points a finger. You must beat me alone, or else your friends will face our wrath. The third All time right. you guys have heard the warning, All but, you know, fuck uh, it. Just so everyone is clear, no one else can intervene. They're all in one-on-one -on -one combats. <laughs> Garen, you take four points of slashing damage. Okay. And eight points of necrotic damage. Okay. As it slices through you, you, you try to catch the blade with your hand, and you can feel the blade kind of slide across your palm, uh, cutting pretty deep. Uh, bring it to your turn, Garren. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's. I know it's right on me. I don't care if it's a disadvantage. I'm uh, fourth level scorching rays. Okay. So it's going to take some time. Let me grab. Let me grab my lucky death by mage dice because yeah. And I get Yep. Okay. Um that's a fifteen. Okay, so the first scorching ray goes wide, hits a tree, the tree catches fire. Uh that's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty just hits. So one of the rays strikes it in the chest, burning the cloth robes that it wears. That is a 21. That hits. That's an 18. That one misses. And, oh man, that was a natural 20. That's sad. Um, that's a 23. Okay, so three strike this, this wraith right okay. in front of you. <laughs> Right in the chest. You can see that the tattered robes are singed with fire. Mm. Oh, nice. That is uh, 22 points of fire damage. Okay. All right. So as as the, the flames lick at it, it brings it to Mitz's turn. Okay. Um, I need to ask you a question. Yes. So using the Ring of the Ram is an action, correct? Yes. There's absolutely no way he's attuned to it yet. Yeah, I am. We spent a long time. Yeah, rest. he actually did specify. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. he specified that, yeah. Um, so, so my precious thing. Yeah. I can burn all three charges in one shot and still attack. Uh, is that how that works? Let me, let me double check. I, I think it uses an action, but if you have... No, you have to make an attack action. You can't use an item. There's a difference. If you want a bonus action, yeah, you yeah, to yeah. attack action, not use an item. Yeah, I'm actually just checking how the charges work exactly. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, you can determine how many charges you use, mm -hmm. um, yeah. but you have to do it before you make the attack. Yeah, so you, as an action, to expend one to three of its charges to attack one creature, uh, which would be your action, and it's not technically an attack action. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I'm gonna yeah. do it anyway. I'm gonna okay. burn all three charges of the Ring of the Ram. Okay. Go ahead and roll to hit. It's okay. not a bad one. Okay, that's a 21. That hits. I don't... Uh, you, I think you only roll once. Yeah, it, it's only one Oh, yeah. yeah, so it's a 21. So he takes 6 d10 force damage. Yep. 
and he's pushed five feet away from you. <laughs> on all three charges. Okay. Oh my god. Fucking Mitch just wrecks this guy in one hit. Please. Fucking. Three. No more deaths. No more deaths today. All my spells do necrotic damage. Damn it. Whose, whose fault is that? You gotta diversify your portfolio. Yeah. A lot of my spells do. Warlocks are, are a majority. Radiant. Oh my god. So. Didn't you just take a spell? I only have two slots. 19. How diverse do I need to be? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, didn't you just get new did, spells and you did didn't you? fucking prep it? Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't! I didn't manage my spells. 50 points of force damage. So, I get another cantrip that I didn't... So Mitz just swings out with this ring of the ram and this fucking avatar of death in front of him evaporates. <laughs> just doing? fucking evaporates. <laughs> what a ridiculous fucking... Either. Rain is just slow clapping from 30 feet away. Uh, that is going to bring it to Sylvia. Well, well, not to mention, I think it's like the, a big head of a ram. like a <laughs> yeah, it's head. like big old spectral ram head yeah. coming out of the ring. It's the most ridiculous shit you've ever seen. Mitz, it excites <laughs> the fuck out of you. Like, just seeing this large spectral ram head just obliterate this avatar of death into oblivion. I give its ashes the smolder through my helmet, so I'm like... <laughs> I your it's your just red like eyes. The, just okay. like that like an episode Brian, of Wicked Man. Will you allow me to add a cantrip real quick? That's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I added didn't. a cantrip. It better and be sacred so gonna, flame. Tell me it was I'm going to cast down. green flame blade. <laughs> okay. It does fire damage, okay? It's not necrotic. Okay. And <laughs> um, I'm going to swing with that. Okay. Uh, I didn't have time to actually go through the cantrip, so because I I super fucked up. Uh, so are uh, are you what are, what are you casting the green flame blade on? Are what you are you using to or? attack? Are you using the staff? I have a dagger. <laughs> okay, then that's what you can apply it to. Use the staff at disadvantage. <laughs> you just want to justify kicking it to her. Uh, it's a it would do more damage yeah. than a dagger. Yeah. It does more than a dagger. Well, it's up to Sylvia. She's the no, one who has the six seconds my, to decide. My my dagger is a plus seven to hit, and the staff is a plus four. Okay. Okay. So that's true. That's I true. Guess I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack with the Finesse. dagger. Oh, that's good. Um, that's a twenty. Uh, oh my god, math twenty five. That Take hits. My hit with the dagger. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh my god. Okay, so that's a d8 plus a d4. Okay. So this is like literal death, so right? That's, yes. Uh, just, just trying to... Seven points of piercing damage Okay. and two points of fire damage. Okay. I'm just trying to see where Siegfried kind of sits on this. It's looking rough. It's looking Thank rough. Thank god. That's the first hit I've got on it. Yeah, but Mitz Thank did you, a Mitz. fuck ton of damage. Thank you, Mitz. You did. Uh, <laughs> as you kind of knock its jaw askew uh, with the slice from the dagger, you will take... Ooh, that's good. Uh, ten points of slashing damage. Okay. And eight points of necrotic damage. As it swipes its okay. scythe through you once more. Uh, okay. Which brings it to the avatar that's on Garen. That is 10 points of slashing damage and 4 points of necrotic damage. Okay. As it slices through you again, you guys just see this back and forth, just uh, Sylvia finally landing a blow on this avatar. This avatar is slicing through her. Meanwhile, Garen's battling with the other one as it swipes its scythe through Garen. Garen, it is your turn. What do you do? <clears throat> We're the essence of chaos, right? <laughs> We're oh, yeah. fate, right? Do it. We're gonna get so much XP. Oh, you actually get no get XP for this. I'm gonna pull out the oh. wand and I'm gonna point the wand and do the wand of wonder. Okay. Because Wanda's wands wonder. 
or whatever. Yeah, not to divulge too much information, but even if these guys didn't take your fucking bodies, I don't know if Secret would bring you back to life. <laughs> it's I literal would, death. I wouldn't blame you. Like that's that's, that's um uh ninety. Holy shit! What happens um, on a ninety? Uh oh, it's the gems. <laughs> What? Okay, hold Four on. Gems. Okay, um, <laughs> see how many gems? Oh, oh no! You shoot a bunch of dems. That's forty gems. Forty gems. <laughs> so that's forty points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> you shoot them out like a fucking machine gun. So. <laughs> So Garin points the wand at this avatar of death, this spectral, literal avatar of death itself, and just shoots a money shot into its face. A literal money shot because the gems are actually worth gold. As, as they bludgeon this fucking avatar of death. It swirls into itself and poofs out of existence. <laughs> oh my god. It's dead. Wait, what? <laughs> he hit it with three scorching rays and then a fuck ton of gems. I was like, I did a total of 62 points of damage. Like, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Garen, you're so fucking look, gay. You're making me look really bad right now, Garen. You just bedazzled something to death. I did. I did. And you got money for it. <laughs> oh, that I gotta say, out of the two campaigns that I run on Soul Bear RPG, that's this. This is the second different campaign where there has been a money shot that has knocked either knocked somebody unconscious or killed someone. <laughs> okay, so that's so funny. <laughs> Good job, baby. <laughs> That brings it back to Sylvia. <laughs> so Sylvia sees this and is like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is his so much easier than mine? Give me my stuff back. I literally <laughs> have one, like one hit left. I did most of the fucking work. I'm, I'm struggling. Okay. I can tell. <laughs> we know this. You die. I'm gonna slash at him with my dagger and my flame blade. Or okay. do the flame thing again. Oh, God. Oh, that's cocked. Um, that is a 19. So with a 19, you go to strike again, and it catches your hand with one hand and swipes up with a scythe with the other, <clears throat> doing five points of slashing uh -huh. and two points of necrotic. Okay. Okay. That's, that's all I got. Are you attacking again? It's your turn again. It, it took its turn to slash you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, dagger. 17. So you strike again, and again it catches your hand. It twists your wrist a little bit as you take eight points of slashing damage. Okay. And seven points of necrotic damage from its scythe. Okay. It buries the scythe deep in your collarbone. Oh. You can feel the blade sapping your energy and strength. I hope that extra level was worth it. Um. Okay, so I'm going to activate my <clears throat> um, Mark of the Dragon. Okay. Or whatever to... I'm going to change my Eldritch Blast into Acid and eat it. Okay. For my elemental feast to heal myself. Okay. So, um, I need to roll my damage for that. So Is it an action to, to change the element? I don't believe so. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, double, double check that. <clears throat> Where is it? Elemental feast. Um... So uh, you have developed the ability to consume things that would otherwise be lethal to anyone else. Doing so restores your energy. When you receive damage of the type which you are resistant per your Mark of the Dragon feature, you can use your reaction so you to absorb not, the damage. You have not received acid damage. 
I know, but I'm using my own Eldritch Blast. So I'm changing my Eldritch Blast. Oh, to okay, acid. okay, okay. I, I, I see yeah. what you're doing. Okay. And I'm using my own Eldritch Blast right. to heal myself. Okay, you, so yeah, I have to you're. Roll my Eldritch Blast damage. Yeah, your persona, fucking blasting yourself in the head to heal. Gotcha. Yes. Um. <clears throat> so I get ten points of healing. Okay. Oh wait, no. That I have to have that. So I. Okay. Okay. So as you blast yourself in the face with Eldritch Blast, it swipes again at you. That is seven points of slash slashing damage. Okay. Two points of necrotic damage. Okay. I'm gonna slash with my dagger. Okay. <laughs> oh, please hit. I have two hit points. Okay. Oh my god, yes. Okay, that's a 26 to hit. 26 hits. Okay. Come on, roll big, roll big. Okay, where's my... I'm so fucking scared. I honestly didn't think it was going to get this far. Okay, um, that's uh, four points of piercing damage and one point of fire damage. Sylvia? As it rears back its scythe for a final swipe on you, how do you want to finish it off? <laughs> oh, it I... literally had two HP left. Are you no way! No way! It so was did two I. on two. I only had two. Two v two. What a battle! Um, wow. That was a hell of a battle. Sylvia's just gonna let out this like, ah, and just stab the dagger like this right at its chest. And then kind of like wince, thinking she's going to die. Okay, so Sylvia just stabs it right in the chest. And all of you see its its mask just begin to swirl as it just roars to the nine hells <clears throat> and disappears. Sylvia still hand outstretched with a dagger, not looking, eyes clenched tightly closed. And it's dead. Good job, Sylvia. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all you. Give me that give me that damn staff back. <laughs> you haven't been attuned to this this whole time. Don't yell at me, I'm a little traumatized right now. God damn it, you almost died. I'm gonna walk I'm up and I'm just gonna there. I'm just gonna go up and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hug her. I am so also just gonna, gonna start crying. <laughs> go hug her. You guys, that was so scary. Okay, if you could all not stand right near me for the next ten minutes, I will do prayer <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, that was it. And, uh, I was never going to see you guys it. again. And I'm going to listen to you more often now, Goran, I swear. That was so stupid. Uh, you know what? I'll do it at a third. That was so close. Could you imagine what would have happened if I wouldn't have jumped in? That would have been crazy. <laughs> that would have been it. Not. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually good, Mitz. Oh, my gosh, Mitz. You saved my life. I would have been totally fine if necrotic works. But <clears throat> just so you guys know, don't use any necromancy stuff on on those things. On on dead things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. a really stupid idea. Things that are dead. Yeah. <clears throat> it was really dumb. I thought it would be resistant, but I didn't I didn't think that it would do nothing. Would anybody else like to tempt fate? No. Uh no, I've had enough for today. Uh just slight uh <clears throat> bit of uh news. Uh, personal news. Uh, I no longer have any magical possessions of any kind. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know where Whisper is. Yeah. Oh, of course. When you say that, Abigail grabs you by your shirt. What did you say? Uh, he, if, real quick. If he was wearing a shirt. Real quick. Uh, Garin, yeah. Sylvia, and um, Mitz, if you lost any health points, all gain 17 back. Thank cool. You. Back Ooh. at my uh, Whisper appears to uh, not be in my presence. That seems like a big problem. Yeah. It's a minor inconvenience. A I minor would... inconvenience. <sighs> yes. A minor inconvenience. Do you have any idea what that blade means to my family? I'm going to be honest here. No. <laughs> okay. Well, beyond your family, I think it may also mean a lot to the rest of the world if it... Uh helps, I don't know, revert everything that has been done? 
she she just kind of like pushes Kalisha away from her. You're not wrong, Siegfried. You're not wrong, but still, my my uncle's blade was going to he was going to help us slay that bitch. Oh, it still will. Like it'll be fine. Oh, it'll be fine. Let's Does just... anybody happen to know where it is? Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. hold up, hold up here for a second. Did anybody die? No. We're all fine. We're still going on the mission. Sure, I don't have things anymore, but I don't need things to make change, to fight for what I believe in. I don't need physical objects. I'll go in there butt-ass naked to kick some ass if I have to. I I really prefer you don't do that. You can have some rings. I mean... (laughs) It's not about the rings, it's... it's... Okay, look. Uh, My emotions... Abigail, we'll, we'll... Abigail, we'll we'll find it. We'll find it. Yeah, we will find it. We'll find it. It's okay. It's not. It's not just my emotions that are getting the best of me. Siegfried's right. That dagger was going to really give us an edge in this battle. We are significantly weaker for having lost it. We know. We know. Yes, we're aware. We are also significantly weaker when Fenthris broke. But we wouldn't solve that problem, now, didn't we? Oh, and wasn't it you that caused that problem? So we're even. Come on. I this do not is, prefer pointing fingers, but this 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 right here is not helpful, guys. I just I just had a near death experience, and I just think that this whole little it's petty. Let's just. Come on. Well, maybe while you guys argue, I'm just going to take a little nap. Uh, I think we should get a move on. Oh, hate we can do that too. Hate to admit Sylvia, it, but Kalisha's you... right. Sylvia, yeah. you get another eight points of healing. Oh, thank God. Thank you. I casted Cure Wounds at a first level. Okay. That should... I just need to make sure I just don't get touched for next day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perhaps we can piece together exactly where it could be uh like um if you're attuned to it can you sense it mm. in any way i mean I, I can see that like his stuff turned to ash right yeah except for the artifacts uh, that that but, but, yeah. do, but we don't know that yeah Cal- kalashaw does have an idea that it wasn't destroyed it did go somewhere he just doesn't know where okay is this ash part of vestige? I'm asking Kalashal. Oh no, no, it's I. No, I, the ash is mostly the boat, I think. Hmm. And armor and. So like, this so, dagger simply disappeared. Yeah, it disappeared. I, I rummaged in my bag, and uh, there was some dust in there. Uh, but I don't, I don't. I don't think Whisper got dusted. Uh, it's, any- it's out there. Does anyone have a locate object spell? That's not going to work unless it's like right near us. Which it could be, unlikely, yeah. but it could be. Uh, I'll activate my Eldritch Sight and see actu- if it's within thirty feet of us. <laughs> it is not. Hang on, actually. Nope. Sorry, Kalsha. <clears throat> I'm not seeing nothing. Oh no, that's for a fucking damn. That's okay. for a creature, not an item. I'm angry. I'm emotional. I get that. That said, okay. again, Siegfried's right. We don't know where Whisper is, but we do know where another vestige is. Yeah. Let's go get it. That's all we can do. Assuming that it has simply not gone invisible, I, I would say, perhaps on other plane or. <clears throat> Something Someone along I those knew lines. used to know a spell that he could just like find whatever he wanted. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, maybe soon. Maybe. Maybe after the big battle, the next big battle we fight. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, to Kaimal. <laughs> hmm. I suppose. Yes. Hey. uh uh, Garren, you want to throw the deck back in the acid? <laughs> no, because then someone else that. can find it. I thought about that, but no. I'm going to hold on to it. Why don't we try and destroy it, then? 
Nope. We listen to what Garen says now. Shh. Okay, so tomorrow we'll talk about destroying it when that goes away. <laughs> <laughs> when what goes away? This happens no, all the time. When, when her sudden <laughs> respect for your decision goes away. Oh, that. Yes. Because she um, respects your thoughts, but not mine, because I said the same thing, but that's fine. It's, uh, I, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. It's all good. But no, um, it's, I don't know. I, I feel like it's safer in my possession than just, yeah, just let's go. Okay. <clears throat> so who is leading the charge? Mitz. Does Mitz want to lead the charge? Mitz can. Absolutely. <clears throat> Okay. So go ahead and roll a perception check. Um, is anybody up there with Mitz? I'm at the back with Abigail. Okay. If you can catch I'll be me. The front. I can cast guidance. If you can catch me. That is a 17. 17. Okay. Uh, so with a 17, uh, as you guys begin making your way towards Kaimel. Uh, you do know it's going to be at least another probably two days to get there. Uh, as you guys begin traveling, uh, was there anything you guys needed to talk about or anything like that as you as you guys travel? Um, is there any way that I could potentially short rest during this travel? No. Mm-hmm. Then no. Okay. Um, so it, it passes pretty uneventfully. Uh, Mitz, eventually you notice that the the deadening of the the flora and fauna of the area um, goes away, and the grass becomes more lush and vibrant, as do the trees and any of the, the brush or bushes that are around. Um, as night begins to fall, uh, you guys realize it's probably a good time to make camp, or try to make camp. Right. I will help make camp. I will cast the hut. Okay. As soon as the hut is cast, Sylvia's gonna crawl inside. And begin her long rest. Okay. Come on. So, um, you guys do, um, Sylvia, are, are you still keeping watch despite the fact that you're exhausted or? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can still keep watch because I don't necessarily need to sleep, sleep, but I just need like no activity, but I can keep watch. Okay. She just stares at the door like the thousand yard (laughs) stare. All right. Um, go ahead and roll. Roll. Perception? Yeah, go ahead and roll perception. <clears throat> Three. Three. Um, off in the distance, you can make out a very large shape. Okay. But you have no idea what it is. For anything, it, for as far as far as you're concerned, it could have just been a shadow of your imagination. You're so exhausted and tired. Okay. When Raina wakes up from her trance, I'm gonna mention it to her. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay, uh, Raina, go ahead and roll a perception check. <clears throat> twenty-four. Okay, with a twenty-four, you you peer off, and it is dark, and it is far off in the distance. It's hard to see, uh, but you can make out a large worm-like shape, and it seems to be kind of. Uh, coming out of the ground and burrowing into it and coming out of the ground and burrowing into it. Is but it coming near us? Can I tell? From that distance, it's hard, hard to say. Then I'm just going to keep an eye on it in case it starts coming for us. Okay. Oh, so it was in my imagination. I say nothing to Sylvia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so the rest of the night passes uneventfully until morning. Uh, as you watch the, the worm like creature and as the, the light breaks, uh, it, it slowly does seem to be making its way in this direction, not necessarily towards you guys, but it is traveling in this direction. And that's as we're all waking up. Yeah. It's as you guys are waking up. Oh, we lost sight. (laughs) (laughs) Nope. There he is. Yay. I make mention of it. We need to start moving, but we need to be moving carefully. 
Uh, or would I would I know anything about burrowing creatures or anything at all? Um, I'll let you make a nature check. Okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, with a twenty-eight, and with the glimpse that you caught, now that it's moving closer, it's easier to see. Uh, you recognize this as a purple worm, and you recognize as it gets closer that there's more than one of them. Uh, you do know that they can burrow, and for all you know, there could be a fucking nest of them underneath you. It's hard to say. What I was wondering was, would if we started moving, would they be able to sense that? Did I roll high enough to know anything about that? Okay. Um, you they are not close enough to you that you would know that these ones in particular would notice that you were moving. As far as any others, you don't know if there's any others in the area, so you do know it, it would behoove you to be careful and to consider the fact that there could be. Uh, when everyone starts to wake up, I'm just, I, uh, so there seems to be a pack of purple worms heading in our general direction, not directly towards us. Purple but worms. Hmm? They're gigantic burrowing purple worms with lots of <clears throat> lots of teeth. Mm. Uh, I don't know if there are more underneath lots us or course. around us. But if, when we start to move, we need to move very carefully because they may or may not be able to sense us and there may or may not be more. Right. Should we try to wait in the hut until they pass through? Uh, I will yeah. say that they are, they are big enough to eat the hut if they decide to eat it. We, I we don't know if that would be the that. best idea. Yeah, plus it only lasts for eight hours. Like, basically, we sleep and then it's done. And so. also, we don't know if this is their terrain. So the longer we stay here, the more chances we have of them noticing us, regardless of whether we're moving or not. So I do suggest we start making our way to Kaimal. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so you guys are picking up and moving? Yeah. Okay, are you guys, yeah, what, let's go. what speed are you guys moving? Are you guys trying to go slow and careful? Are you trying to go fast and quick uh, or at a regular pace? What do you suggest, uh, Rena? Well, the slower we move, the more likely they are to get closer to us and sense us. But if we move at a regular pace, we might disturb others. So I would suggest putting it to a group vote. I think that we should move slow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I, my instinct says regular pace, but, uh, I say fast. Do you mean regular pace or actually fast? Like, let us move fast. I see. I say we move fast. Mitz? Are there lots of trees around? There are not. Uh, you're in a very open plains area still. Uh, there are trees here and there, but there's nothing like, no trees that are like close to each other, like a forest or anything like that. Okay. Well, I mean, moving fast is great, but how long can all of you move fast? And how fast can you move? I'm pretty fast. Well, we learned that really only two of us can't move that fast. But then some of us use spell slots to move that fast. So. We, if we move faster, then um, we're not as slow. I'm, I'm, we're not as slow, right? That's what I'm saying. We need to make a decision. We should move 60 feet at a time. Okay. Some of us will move more Let's than that. Do it. Rule of thumb, yes. Well, I mean, we just move faster, yeah, so, yeah, okay. Okay, so you guys are going to go fast. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We go fast. Alrighty. Um, do me a favor. Everybody go ahead and make stealth checks at disadvantage. Uh... Uh, well, Secret, you already do disadvantage, so. Okay, so it doesn't matter? No. Cool. <gasps> Ooh. I got a 15. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's really good. 26. 26. 14. 14. 16. 16. 18. 18. Magic box. Magic 15. Box. 15. Okay, um, so you guys begin traveling uh, very, very fast, and 
as you guys are traveling, Reyna, you kind of every so often glance back at the purple worms to see if they switch direction or if they continue traveling the direction that they were. And they don't seem to notice you guys. They don't seem to sense you at all. <laughs> um, as they continue traveling to where you guys were, you guys book it out of there. Um, are you planning on spending the entire day at this speed or just enough to get out of sight of these particular worms? Just out of sight. Yeah. yeah, just out of sight. Just out of sight? Okay, uh, so you guys are running for a good 20 minutes before they're fully out of view. Like I said, it's kind of a plains area, so it's it's pretty s- spread out. Uh, go ahead, everybody make me a constitution saving throw. Seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, that one. That one. Okay. Oh. Five. Five. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah. <coughs> okay. So everybody but Garen and Kalashaw take one point of exhaustion. Damn. From the sheer amount of just speed and trying to get away from these things, uh, especially with, for you, Siegfried, it's just difficult with that heavy armor. Um. But you guys do manage to get away, you know, and extra stage. shield. <laughs> yeah, and extra shield and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> but before too long, uh, you guys are are getting closer to Kaimal. You can see the Iron Seat Ridge off in the distance, and you know that Kaimal sits at the base of that from this direction. Um, you start to see buildings and large towers looming in the distance. And it looks like a ghost town. There, there, you see no movement or anything like that. Normally, you would see caravans uh, passing through back and forth. Uh, you would see foot traffic. You would see um, wandering traders. But you see nothing. It's as if the entire city has been abandoned. And as you guys get closer, you can see truly that nobody seems to be around. Um, as you near where the gates are and you peer kind of inside, you see uh, damaged buildings, you see bodies rotting in the streets, you see ravens, and you see uh, vultures, and you, you see like small dogs and, and cats nibbling at what flesh is left, other various creatures and animals that seem to have overtaken this city. Um, some of the, the shrubs and the growth uh, in ivy are coming through the cracks in the walls. Some of the buildings have crumbled. One tower in particular uh, seems to have been just slid off of itself and toppled into the uh, center of the city. And as you guys approach Kaimo proper, that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Woo! All wow. right. <clears throat> Had a brush with you guys. Guys are all alive. I can't believe that me and Death had two HP. That was I, I was sweating bullets on that one. I was like, "Oh fuck, I am gonna kill Sylvia True Dead right here." I kept I rolled natural ones, and then a necrotic thing just. Well, and that's the thing. Like, is if if you if you missed <sighs> that hit, then no matter what damage it rolled, you would have been dead because it was a minimum of two damage. Yep. Whew. What <laughs> I a didn't... session. I didn't bring it up, but Siegfried feels a much stronger connection to Kalashaw now. Oh. All right. Well, as we normally do, we we'll do a quick you know, 10, 15 minute Q&A for anybody that was watching. Has any questions for us? Now's the time. Ask away. We are happy to answer them for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. Uh, I'm like still stressed out. <laughs> Uh, Gabe says, uh, Brian, do I plan on going up to level 20 or stop at level 15 with the party because epic levels are difficult to, to DM? Gabe, I laugh at the face of that kind of challenge. <laughs> I have... L- level 15 through 20 can be difficult to DM, but oh my god, if you knew how this story ends, you would know that they're going to need every fucking scrap of HP and power that they're going to have. So. Oh, yay. Oh, Especially I've got plans. Especially some of us have to start over. <laughs> <laughs> uh the the next probably i want to say eight weeks of this game are probably going to be some of my favorite uh, dming that i'll ever do i'm really really excited for where this is going um gabe asks what's been my favorite npc to play so far 
Honestly, uh, one of the first NPCs that the party met, uh, Jerry of Jerry's General Goods, that old bastard <laughs> that Sylvia hated. Oh, yeah. oh, I love Jerry. Jerry was great. I forgot yeah. about him. <laughs> My hope is that he's still alive in Amon somewhere. I mean, who knows? I mean, he, he would be the most unlikely survivor, so... I literally sold him snake oil that <laughs> would help him get laid by his wife for health potions. Yep. And for all you know, it worked way well. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll find out. We got... Uh, yeah. we I think got I told you. him to put a feather under his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Gabe asks, what type of vestige would Psy like for Mitz if they find one? Uh, I really like, you ever seen God of War where he like has those lion heads as like punching gloves? Oh, Something yeah. Damage. Huh, I don't know. He's just uh, got metal punchies. I like it. Bring that up. What are those things called? Cat- Castus? I don't remember they were. Oh. I think we're slowly losing Psy. Yeah. Uh, Gabe asks, what's the one spell Garren really wants to learn in the future? Um, <clears throat> many to choose from. I know, that's the problem. It's like every time you gain like a, a another a level of wizard spells... Like it just gives you a giant, massive, like bunch of stuff to like choose from, and you're like, but I only get two of these, like right now, like yeah, like when that when I got fifth level spells, that was crazy. That that was so hard. It took me a whole week to decide, and even then, I was like, still not sure or satisfied. <laughs> Um, but having something kind of like, um, I don't know, like something cool that people talk about, you know, like, um, uh, like power word kill or something like that. That would just be like neat to finally have a spell like that, you know, cause I've never played a mage this high before ever. So counterspell. <laughs> <clears throat> I have counterspell. No, I'm not talking about for you. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, and uh, I apologize if I'm getting this name wrong, uh, just because it's the first time reading it out loud. So please correct me if I'm wrong and tell me I'm a bad dog. But K Browtig 22 <laughs> asks, is this your first time playing these classes or have you all played these classes before? I guess technically it's my first time because this is my first cleric ca- right. character, but it wasn't from this campaign. I feel like it's technically your second time, but your first character that's a cleric. Yeah, yeah. like th- this isn't my first time playing a cleric, but it is my first character as a cleric. Um, uh, ca- yeah, Kalisha. For, for me, uh, this is my first time playing a swashbuckler, uh, specifically that rogue archetype. Um, and then my other class is Bard, which I've played every campaign ever. <laughs> I mean, I've technically I never ended up playing a wizard uh, in first edition because it was impossible. And so technically, this is my first wizard. Yeah. Yeah, this is my first warlock. My very first warlock. Hence the struggle of the, the two packed slots. It was, I'm used to playing either like druids or uh i think i played wizards um things with more than two spell slots <laughs> so but you pulled it yeah. off i mean you pulled it off fucking barely with like 80 points of help from somebody else i literally only did like 12 damage to the <laughs> thing i got so fucking lucky what? so lucky uh, reina uh first rogue first ranger not <laughs> first multi-class Amit. First type of this monk, or first monk of this type, but monks are my favorite. Yeah. Sai is, like, big time monk fan. 
I so want to change my answer from before, and I'm really looking forward to the day where I have mass polymorph. Oh, oh my god. My. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, he can't help us. <clears throat> no one can help Ooh. us. Fun <laughs> fact, if you polymorph somebody with true polymorph and it lasts for 24 hours, it becomes a permanent effect. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and if I ever let you see a T-Rex, you can all be T-Rexes, and we can do a fucking epic level T-Rex campaign. <laughs> yep. And you can stack it. So if you cast True Polymorph on somebody, it lasts 24 hours. The next day, you cast it again and change them into something else. And then when they that pool of hit points goes away, they revert to the previous animal. Whoa. <laughs> we can call it Tal'Dorei huh. Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> what? I my name to yeah. Reptar. Okay. But uh, that's a nice level spell, so. I know. I know. It's like. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so Gabe asks, uh, since your soul is owned by the scale tyrant now, does Sylvia want to learn more about the goddess and her religion? Um, I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> what? By the way, Sylvia, just as a reminder, um, because I don't know if you remember this, but when you guys initially went to the Temple of Fate and you got flung off into some fucking ether, yeah, you were to owe a favor to the Moonweaver, and that's why you were allowed to be brought back. Oh, that's I just want to let Fucked you know that her. is still in play. So when this does one day come back, you're not surprised by it. I just want you to know it. It's just something I remember. I so forgot that. <laughs> I super forgot about that. I am so Bro, boned, dude. Brian never forgets. Like I am literally so screwed. I just put I just put myself between two gods. Yep, yeah, I mean pretty no, much. Like that is, that is not a sandwich you want. <laughs> That's not a sandwich you want to be the fucking meat of in the middle of. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily I'm lucky, so hopefully I can weasel my fucking way out of it again it's real good um, that you're fucking charismatic i'll give you that <laughs> yeah and i have like like super proficiencies in all the charismatic stuff so my persuasion is plus nine my intimidation plus nine uh deception i think is really high too deception plus nine like i should really be talking more <sighs> uh gabe asks would reyna ever use the shotgun she has or give it to a party member I forgot that I had it. Uh, I think you skipped over another question as well. Did I? Uh, from K Brow that said the follow up question would be Are you enjoying? Ah, uh, huh? yes. Yeah. Yes, very yes. much. So much. Kalashos. Picking Cleric was the first spellcaster I ever selected. Oh. I, I used this as a means to figure out how to do spells. Clerics are awesome. They are. I love clerics. So hopefully I can get into more spell casting in the future. I want to see you as a wild magic sorcerer so fucking bad. <laughs> I, um, I love playing a wizard. It's been a lot of fun. But the thing that's hard is that, like, I'm used to playing clerics. Clerics have all these spells that help everybody. Wizard spells that are helpful only help themselves. And it drives me crazy. It's like, oh, that'd be helpful. Oh, it's a self. Oh, oh self. Oh, self. Uh <laughs> I don't uh, like the selfish part of being a wizard, but it's really fun to be a wizard, at least. You guys, if Sylvia dies, I'll come back as a wild magic sorcerer. <laughs> I thought you were gonna come back as a paladin. Oh know, yeah. Right? No, you gotta you gotta come in as a as what's her face? Uh Dolores? Yeah, Dolores. <laughs> oh, did you hear about Edna? This is how Dolores talks. She's really old. That is gonna ruin your throat. And she gossips a lot, and she's got a bad attitude, and she doesn't like young people. Oh fuck! I <laughs> feel like she should be smoking while she's talking. I can't wait to call her old because I'm older than her. Probably she. Is. I've quit cigarettes for about she, she's five She's a gnome years right now. now oh, okay. Then yeah. That's fine. <laughs> um, Gabe asks uh, anyone in the party that Siegfried considers or thinks of as a friend yet. Uh, I would say Kalisha, but he considers him better than a friend at this point. 
Oh, oh. wow. We lost a sigh. Yeah, I think... Uh, wow, something must have happened when we took our headphones off. <laughs> some, <laughs> something was Goodbye enlightened now. upon Siegfried. Wow. Wow. Uh, oh. So he kind of considers Kalasha a bit of a brother now. Oh, damn. Wow. He must have gotten a visit from our patron. <laughs> you don't Maybe. know. I haven't said anything. Uh, Gabe asked, does Kalashaw sometimes... And we'll make this the last question just because everything's broken. Yep. Uh, <laughs> does Kalashaw sometimes wish he never met the party and just be a pirate captain with his old crew again? <laughs> uh, so the thing about Kalashaw is he uh, is notorious for having bad luck uh, throughout his entire life. And the pirate captain thing was only going to last for so long. Uh, and... and yet he drew from the deck of many things. <laughs> you know, things are uh, they're bound to change over time. Sure. Supposedly. I, Brian's really distracted me with his face. <laughs> uh, uh, but... <laughs> oh god, he's coming back. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, like everyone that he loves dies, uh, so the pirate captain thing was probably going to end in a sunken ship at some point. Uh, but having bad luck has never deterred him from uh, looking at the positive side of life, which is why he's not super frazzled that all of his magic items are now gone. All right. Well, with that, uh, first and foremost, thank you everybody who hung out with us for Taldore World in Chaos. Thank you to our new viewers. Uh, really appreciate you hanging out with us and watching the show. Hopefully we'll see you next week uh, as we move into Kaimal and see uh, what's going to happen with that green beastie. And vestige. Vestige. If all goes well, you guys get to see the unveiling of the custom vestige I just built for Siegfried, which I am really going to regret giving him, but is also <laughs> worth the wait because he's been waiting a long time for this. Oh, I have been waiting. Um. Thank you for the bits, everybody who contributed bits. That was super awesome of you as well. And uh, also, don't forget, we are sponsored by SoNerdWear.com. It's what the nerds wear. If you're a cool nerd, you're wearing SoNerdWear.com gear. And uh, I'm not a cool nerd because I'm not wearing any of mine right now. But I'm looking at my hat, and I was going to put it on, but it's far too warm tonight to wear a hat. Fair. Um, but go to SoNerdWear.com. Use the discount code SOULBEAR. Get yourself 10% off your order. You know, get some cool Treat Essence of Chaos you. gear. Make <clears throat> yourself one of the Essence of Chaos. So, with that, we're going to go around the table, say our goodbyes. Today, we will start with Sylvia. Hi. Um, I'm Riley. This It was nice to see you guys. I'm here every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And I do hair in San Diego. And that's the things that I do. All right. Reyna. I'm Raina now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just calling you all uh, by your character name still. That's yeah, fine. fine. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Dana. You can find me mostly on Twitter at Dana Lee B. I live there, and I also live here on Wednesdays. All right. Mitz. Hello. It is I, M Mitz, otherwise known as Sai in real life. Um, I do things here on Wednesdays with these awesome peoples, and hopefully more to come. Alrighty, Siegfried. Hey, I'm Derek. Uh, I play D and D every Wednesday with these folks. Uh, I also sometimes stream with some other folks in Seven Days to Die, but I do stream on my own Twitch channel, uh, Twitch.tv/slash Delta J Ford. Uh, you can pretty much find me Delta J Ford everywhere, including uh, Twitter and the whatnots. Uh, I stream very, very frequently, and I've been getting my ass handed to me by Sekiro, but I'm on the last goddamn boss. <sighs> you can do it. I will do it. I'll probably do it tonight and just record it instead of... Tr and if I end up beating it, I'll just fucking put it on my stream. Relive the majesty. <laughs> Um, thank you, Matt Foreman, for the bits. That's super awesome view. Wanted to let you know that we appreciate it. Um, before we move on to Kalashaw. Yeah, uh, so I am Smurf. You can find me on the internet at DSC underscore Smurf. Uh, I play D&D &D the perfect amount, which is uh, four times a week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on uh, Monday and Tuesdays at Dubstep uh, Charisma. 
uh, here on Wednesday nights and then on Friday nights with uh, Welcome Party RPG. Uh, I like to do lots of zany things uh, in character. So, Yes, and we love you for it. Garen. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Matty. Find me here Wednesdays and Fridays playing Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, we have our Threads of Fate on Friday nights at 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, the Saturday on my channel... Uh, I do so chatty at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And this Saturday, I uh, British summertime starts this weekend. So I got three of my favorite Brits to come hang out with me um, uh, at uh, Geek Girl Bookworm, at Griffolian, and at uh, this. Um, I'm trying to remember which one he uses, the Sleeping God uh, on Twitter um because his uh discord name's different uh or is it the other one anyway um mm -hmm. so yeah we'll be hanging out there and uh and then next tuesday over on the fems uh twitch.tv slash femsplain i'm gonna be playing with a bunch of really cool people in a neverland set D, &D game and i'm playing a tabaxi uh orange tabby named rusty that is a bard oh. so i'm gonna have uh um and i need to try to um remember my scottish accent because i kind of feel like rusty needs to have oh, go w watch uh voices voices huh. okay ryan reynolds mm. oh yeah mm. mm -hmm. it's oh, just also just a really good movie watch outlanders <clears throat> No, like Monica the Glen was the show that really helped that, but I can't I can't get it anymore. So, yeah. Um, Maddie, you have to do me a huge favor this Saturday. Uh, What's that? Tell Martin that he is one of my favorites, and I love him and miss him. I will. Thank you. Um, you are also the proprietor of SoNerdware.com. So I am. I am. Uh, <laughs> I I always forget SoNerdware. <laughs> I oh literally don't know how you can possibly forget. I don't know. I keep saying it over and over again. But it's what I do like <laughs> 24 hours a day. That's I live it. Uh, <clears throat> so it's, it's I always forget to bring it up. Um, but uh, yeah, we've. Uh, I, I uh, uh, We just added a new group. Uh, LCP D&D. &D, uh, great podcast D&D &D set in a Western uh, uh, setting. Um really great guys uh check out their original art it's pretty dope and um i think i'm gonna have a sale coming up soon because uh we need we need to do something 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 fancy soon and uh yeah so i don't know fuck oh and we're gonna have plus size leggings soon yeah i'm sorry no <laughs> Oh, and maybe I'm waiting for the samples to come back. Maybe I finally get my underwear on the site. So <laughs> I have, I have like, I have a pair right now that it's basically, it's all uh, rainbow colored dice all over it. I call it rainbow, uh, rainbow polka dice. Oh, so missed opportunity for rain balls, but. <laughs> yeah we're not doing that um but, feel, but, feel free <laughs> feel free to change the name it's okay you don't have to credit me it's, it's cool yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but say best dice bag ever <laughs> they will now <laughs> <laughs> um, you could do another but, one that just says bag of holding <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need it i mean thank you guys i'll take all of these and um <laughs> I won't pay royalty, so. <laughs> uh, another one could say natural one. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Or roll for investigation. <laughs> Ow. Ouch. Um, God, I'm rolling. Doing this as nature. He's check. writing him down. Totally writing these down. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, while Maddie's writing down all of our fucking million dollar ideas, and they are, 
Uh, I have been your dungeon master, Brian Penaloza. You can find me on Twitter at Cabin Sugar Bear. That's at CPT Sugar Bear. You can uh, find me here every Wednesday at Soul Bear RPG doing Taldori World of Chaos with these beautiful, wonderful folks at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we start. You can find me every other Monday doing Comedy of Strahd right here on Soul Bear RPG. Again, at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with a completely different cast of characters. That game is is something. I don't know how to explain it. Just You just gotta watch it. You just gotta watch it. Um, from there, the other thing that you'll be able to hear me on soon because it debuts this Sunday, and I'm so fucking excited that you guys are going to finally get to tune in and hear it, even though I'm not in this first episode. Uh, Copperheart Podcast. Make sure to go to Copperheart Podcast on Twitter. I think it's at Copperheart Pod. Uh, and download the first episode, episode zero, this Sunday to hear what it's about. It is super fucking cool. If you like audio dramas, then this is going to be right up your alley. I'm so excited to be working on this thing. You guys have no fucking clue. Uh, aside from that, seven days to die with my man Derek over here and whoever decides to join us that night. Um, usually on Saturdays, sometimes things pop up on Saturdays and we can't, but, you know, we, we have fun. And then also I'm losing my life to Neverwinter, so, you know, we'll <laughs> play that tomorrow all night. I'll download so. that for you guys. That's yeah. hilarious. Oh, God, it's so fucking good. I forgot how good it is. And I'm making them diamonds. I am making them diamonds. You think you I... made it rain with your wand of wonder? Whoo! I'm making it rain diamonds, baby. I tried. I tried to play that. I was so confused, and I gave that, up. Yeah, that's that's a lot to take on at once. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, what? You want me to, what? Uh, what? Why is this doing, oh, fuck this. That's okay, I'm just going <laughs> to take all your diamonds, I'm just going to shower in them, just showering in your diamonds. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, with that, folks, thanks again for tuning in, hanging out with us, but uh, we are going to call it a night. So, see you next week on Taldore, World in Chaos. Bye. Bye.